Hi everyone, so it'll be nine here. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, super carts for your beehives, uh, which is something that I've uh, thought about a lot over the years. Uh, this is a cart that I picked up recently for a friend who bought it at an auction sale, commercially made cart. And most of these things work uh, basically on the idea that you're going to have a pallet made that your boxes are going to sit on, usually just a piece of plywood or a piece of board with two runners on each side. Lots of people make them either lengthwise or widthwise, and I'll tell you in a minute why I think one's better than the other. And what all these parts do is they slide in, and then you can pick up your load of supers, and away you go, you can move a whole bunch at once, whether they're light or heavy. Uh, often a lot of uh, operations will be moving their hives off the truck into their hot room and into the extractor room using a setup like that. These things are typically made with relatively small wheels and with those wheels touching the ground, you can see this one, even when this thing is sitting flat, doesn't quite touch. So you get a little bit of leverage as you pick up. So about the time that starts to tip the box is when those wheels touch the ground. And so the one reason you want a really small wheel is so that your center of gravity is relatively close to your stack. If this were five full honey supers, that would be a pile of work tipping that back. This is one I made, pretty much the same design. This one, the wheels are actually touching. And uh, you can make these yourself. Notice how uh, I have used the back brace on the axle to reinforce the, uh, the mast of the cart. That means you can use a slightly lighter grade of steel and the whole thing's a little less clumsy. My next design was originally made for the same stacks in the field, but these ones became uh, preferred by my crew indoors and out. And I, I think I have a theory as to why. One of the things I did was I moved those wheels up quite a bit. Because the wheels are larger, the center of gravity is back more. I knew it was going to be harder to tip. So I thought, well, we'll give ourselves an advantage. And so the fulcrum is actually the bottom of the cart instead of the wheels until you're already tipped back a little bit. So let's do that on the stack. And so you have to push it in, metal on the, on the ground, and you usually do that with your foot on the axle. And then you tip it back, you can see how I've got those boxes fairways back before the, that's the point at which the wheels take the weight. So already you've got a good part of the weight, uh, the center of gravity coming back towards you. And then you tip it back and then you find the balance point and then away you go. So the critical element here is the increased size of wheels gives you way more stability and the height of the wheels off the ground gives you your extra uh, lifting power. And so I would find that uh, a person who was maybe a little smaller, rather than preferring a small cart, would actually like the big cart with the big wheels because it actually gave them more levers to tip those big stacks, which was a surprising result. Uh, in terms of the pallets, the reason I think the right way to build these is with the runners lengthwise and not widthwise is because you're going to be tipping back in the same direction as those runners. If you have the, the stack tipped sideways and those boxes are full of honey, all those frames are going to rub against each other as they tip over. And they're going to, if they're, they're capped, you're going to knock the cappings and then those supers will bleed in your hot room. So, uh, even though, and now the reason some people prefer these, quite rightly, is because by making it uh, tip on the width, the center of gravity is shorter. 
So there, I remember I worked for a beekeeper in New Zealand who told me that was exactly why he did it that way, and, and he's right, except we would spend uh, 30 minutes every night washing floor, honey off the floor of the hot room. If he had turned his supers the other way so that the frames would tip back but hang straight, he would have had way less uh, damage to his combs. The next, and I guess the last, version of hive carts that I made was this powered one. Now this sucker has been idle for a few years because I've gone to a forklift operation. And so this thing has been scavenged for parts for other projects, but it worked I, I moved a lot of honey to this thing. This one has the advantage of a, a set of forks that actually are hinged. So these go in and out and they catch on this uh, bracket here so that you would run them into the box. So you typically you approach the stack, hit the foot switch that releases those, slide it in, tip it forward till it would click on, and then tip the whole thing back. And it's all powered by a lawnmower transmission and a little uh, five horsepower engine. And then for a clutch, I would use like a go-kart uh, centrifugal clutch. So as soon as you revved up the engine, the clutch would engage. And this is the uh, gear swift for the transmission. Basically only ever used uh, first gear unless your employees were having a race when you weren't around. But, uh, and then I would load the honey up a ramp onto the truck. We carried an aluminum deck ramp under the deck of the truck. I think we ran that way for, well, uh, I, the person I learned beekeeping from ran that way for many, many years. And I did it uh, when I went on my own until about, oh, when I got the easy loader four or five years ago. So uh, I, you know, I paid for an easy loader by running honey up a ramp for this thing. So it's really old and tired. There's welds that are broken. There's welds that were field repaired. This splice has been added in for extra strength. Uh, this machine served me, I mean, it looks old and tired and it is, but boy, did it lift honey for me. So those are some ideas for hive carts that you can use in your apiary. Uh, I wish you well. If you have any ideas or questions, you can put them in the comments. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.